<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another controller type of video today. So what we're going to do, we are going to take these two controllers apart and see what the problem are, what is, um, and see if we can fix them. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, further ado, let's get into the video. So what I'm using, I'm using this multi precision suit driver kit. So different screws. You can use that one for the controllers. I'm saying now there's no screws in here. So I haven't placed them back in there. So we're gonna use this one here. Hope everyone's doing well. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the screws in that little pot there so we don't lose them. Do have another thing to show you as well guys. Let me just take these two screws out. That's one. The next one I will be showing you in a minute. Also, if you like these videos, please say in the comments you do. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. And also if you'd like to see more content like this, that would be awesome. Place these to the side. Let's grab what I need. Right. As you guys can see, this box. And welcome to the world of controller pieces. We've got camo controller. We have gold, we have Arctic Camo, we have red. These are all the controllers that, yes, these are all the controllers that I have been through for the past couple of years since I've had PlayStation 4. I have, so. I think I've done that a bit too fast for you guys. Uh, if you don't know how to like dismantle this, there's two clips here, two clips there, and two here. You just need to um, clip that, pull it apart. And remember, there's a wire here, so be careful. Actually, there you go. And that's the back of it. And remember there's a battery here. Just pull out there. There's a screw here. Take this side. If you take this side too. We just need to get this wire out of the thing here. And 
here we go. That is dismantled. So yeah, what I'm doing, I'm just replacing the buttons I am to see what ones I actually want next. Put that back in, actually. Alright, let's go and pick some buttons and see what we got. I will be just a second, guys. Alright guys, we have the buttons that we're actually going to place on the controller, but we're going to do it on this controller, right, so we're going to clean this up a little bit. Right, if I move this and these to one side, I'll do that later on. But what I'm going to do in this video guys, I'm just going to show you how to replace your buttons here. And just mainly just check out if we can find what the problem is with this controller. That is super dusty. What we're gonna do, we are gonna find out if we <clears throat> Alright, that's looking better than it did. It's less dusty, it's more cleaner now. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. But like I said, if you want to see more of these videos, guys, just hit that like button, comment down below. That would be awesome. Oh, for some reason, these triggers won't come out. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I just broke. It still works as a controller, it's just. Oh, that sucks. Dang. <coughs> What the hell just broke then? Oh, damn it, man. Oh.
Oh wow, okay, so what just happened that the where this spring is on this side, a little piece has just snapped off there. See my fingertips guys? They're really flaky at the moment. Oh, okay, um So that's the piece I just snapped off. That sucks. So I can't actually put this back on me. Eh? And I just lost the spring. Damn it. And the spring. So we may have to use this instead. Yeah. Yeah, so we do that instead. I'll put that in there. I'll take these off. Okay. Ow. Okay, what is this one? This one's L2. Alright, that trigger works now. Oh, as we know, it might not work. That's the only problem. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Alright, so far we have the triggers on. I got that. Right. And now we just need to put the put the buttons in the right places. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that now. We're actually gonna put <clears throat> so this here is actually meant to go on that one there, but I'm gonna use this one. I hope it works. You just see. Yep, so it goes on the right side. Okay. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> yeah, that's looking all right so far. I'm just going to go and find the touchpad for this in a minute. Alrighty, my friends, we have the touchpad. Oh, I nearly dropped it. <clears throat> so, with the touchpad uh, here, you will need one of these wires. But at the moment, I don't have a wire. Unless I rip that back off on here. And place it on here, but I don't want to do that just now. Because 
it's get it's actually quite late it's actually nearly one in the morning and the kitchen he's in bed at the moment so what we're gonna do we're just gonna do that like that so it's looking sweet at the moment guys we do need a playstation button i'm gonna go and find that in a minute and guys we have the <coughs> PlayStation button here. Yeah. A little bit dirty actually. What we're gonna do? Gonna get a white wipe on there. That's better. What I like to do, guys, because sometimes the controller doesn't actually fit in. These part ears, these things, I like to just break them off. I know it's ruining your controller, but it doesn't really matter. It's not actually connecting to anything. And there we go. It works. Oh, it's fit. So far, so good. <clears throat> you just need to figure out what actual thing this needs to go on there. So which one was this? Ah, uh, okay, so this one was the red controller, red and black one. And this one was the original one. Alright, cool. So we can fit this one back in. Remember guys, always be careful when you take the batteries out. Because you can damage the wires. I don't know how many batteries I've gone through over the couple of years. But I will tell you now, it's probably about 100 maybe. Uh, what else do we need to put? Ah, oh, it's just this part now. Alright, we're gonna clean this up a little bit, just give it a wipe over. If you didn't know guys, uh when you have a controller and this here sorry about that, this by here and you see all like black dirt and stuff, just remember that's just skin. The skin, the dust, the dirt, it all builds up it does. I uh bought a controller from eBay back a couple of years ago. And when I opened it up, it was all dirty, there was hair coming out of it. I honestly don't know how they got hair in it. But yeah, it's a very dirty controller. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more uh, eBay controller videos. So I'll definitely post them. Gonna, I'm gonna go and plug this in a minute and we're gonna test it. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Well, I just checked the controller. Good news is it works. Bad news is actually, there's two bad news is the light bar does not work or it does not come on. I don't know why. So, we're probably gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna check it all again and stuff. And two, the second bad news is the dang button still doesn't work. As this was the Kishian's controller, this part does not register and I don't know why. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a few looks on YouTube. Let's see what I can do. And yeah, let me show you actually. Um, let me twist the camera around. Here is, at the moment, is my setup. This is what I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, let me just place you guys over here. So, if I show you guys, I put a wire in there, the, the light bar doesn't come on, and I don't know why, so if I press the PS button, it works, it goes back and forth, it just doesn't go down, it don't, but it goes down on this, uh, so yeah. Uh, that's so, so this needs charging still. If I show you this controller, see the light bar works on that one. Plug in, and this goes down too. So, I don't actually know what is going on. Right. See the thing? See? Yeah, so it works. This controller works, obviously. But, I don't know why that one over there don't work. But it's still a playable controller. You can do anything on there, really. It's just the down button doesn't work, and the light bar. But, no biggie. Unless, there's a few um, buttons you need to actually use for the down button. But, that is going to take it for tonight guys uh hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i did um and if you want to see more of these videos hit that like button if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video peace